Hello everyone, AZ Flyer here. And in this video, we're gonna have some fun using the FR Sky X20S radio and the SR10 Plus receiver to have it help me do a perfect knife edge. Um, if you're like me and you've had trouble uh, flying a perfect knife edge and you want a little help from the radio, uh, this is a great um, asset that the radio provides for you to, to help you put the aircraft in a perfect knife edge and, and hold it there. Um, what you'll do is we'll put on a switch um, when we hit the button, the aircraft will roll itself to the right and hold itself there and give left rudder to hold the, the rudder up, to hold the nose up, and the aircraft will just fly the knife edge. And all you have to do then is use the elevator to steer it around laterally. So I'll show you. So we're, we're gonna show you how to do this, but it, I just put on the switch right here, and if I hit the switch, edge. you'll see the aircraft automatically wants to roll to the right and it gives it left rudder. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna pop the aircraft on its side and hold the nose up with the rudder and it'll just hold along there in that knife edge perfectly and then you use the elevator to, to steer it around. So we'll give you some tips on, um, on do's and don'ts there, on some on good practices. Uh, again, you're gonna use your own judgment on how you set up the gains and such to make sure that it's, it's flying and you're comfortable with it. Um, but the, the basic procedure is in the radio on how to make it go into a knife edge and hold it there. And whether you're using 1.4, 1.5, or 1.6 firmware, it's essentially the same thing. Your screen may look a little different. This radio has a 1.5 software in it right now, um, but I've done it on the 1.6 and the 1.4, and it, it, the screen, it's, it's the same function. Your screen may look slightly different, but the process is essentially the same. So let's go through how we uh, set that up in the radio. All right, let's go through the process to set up uh, knife edge on your radio. Now I'm going to assume you already know how to do basic stabilization in quick mode. Um, I'm not gonna go through that here because if I did it in this video, this would be a half an hour. So I'm gonna assume you already know how to do that. If you do not know how to do basic stabilization in quick mode, go review uh, my other video on how to do that and learn that and get comfortable with that first because you definitely wanna be comfortable with basic stabilization settings and how to set that up before you get into this. So, but once you're comfortable with basic stabilization, then you can add the additional functionality on of hover and knife edge and things like that. Now, this is gonna require two main things to think about. Uh, you're going to actually change the mode that you're in from quick mode to what's called conventional mode. And you're gonna do that by disabling the quick modes. You'll see here, quick mode is disabled. Uh, if you've set up regular stabilization, you probably have that on enable. So to do knife edge, you're gonna to wanna to go in here and disable quick mode. And again, quick mode, I call it the simple mode. It's just basic stabilization on and off and self level. Um, now with conventional mode, we're adding different functionalities. So what this is gonna require is it's gonna require a, a separate switch. So now you're gonna have your stabilization on two different switches and it does become um, a little mind challenging to keep track of which switch is in what position. And so you'll just have to learn it and practice it to get to get used to it. And I've put um, call outs on here. Stabilization on. So I know, Stabilization you know, on. what's happening here. Stabilization um, on. So I can keep track of it. Self level. So it's really important that uh, you think about, you know, where your switch settings are because it's gonna be important off. when you go to arm this. So decide what switches you want your stabilization functions on. Again, you're gonna need two switches for this because you're gonna find you can have as many as five different functions happening here um, with hover, knife edge, stabilization on, off, uh, auto level and things like that. It's too much for one switch to handle. So that's why it needs a separate switch. So once you're in your menu here, you'll have quick mode disabled. And before, of course, you had these five set um, with, with gains, right? Aileron, elevator, rudder, and then your 1v1 was your auto recovery, your self level, that was your emergency mode. But down below this now, you're gonna see you have these knife gains here. And uh, I recommend you go ahead and just set these to 100 um, for starting out to make sure you can see exactly what's happening. I'm gonna turn this one way up to 200 just so for the video, you can see that aileron moving really well. But of course, in real life, you're not gonna want that up that high. You're probably gonna want, I've found you're gonna want that aileron down to maybe around 50%. And we'll talk about why that's important in a minute. Um, so you're gonna have knife gain, elevator, and then rudder knife gain, because that's what's happening. Your aileron's turning your aircraft and your rudder's gonna keep your nose high. So you're gonna turn these gains up to something, maybe 100% so that you can uh, see what's happening and then leave everything else at zero for now. 
and your gains are good to go. Now to make sure you have this uh, set up right in the mixer, we're gonna go back to the mixer screen. And what's gonna happen now is you're gonna have, since you're not in quick mode anymore, you're going to need to assign your second switch to an output. So I've gone ahead and created another mix here, called it Knife Edge, and I've put it on SA, which is this switch here, and I'm assigning it to output 15. So if there's any questions about how that's done, again, it's you know your, the basic steps for setting up stabilization are here. You're gonna put that on a source. Again, I chose this switch, and my output is 15. So in this radio, 13, as we know, is set for our gain, 14 is for our stabilization, and um, 15 then is for the other. And you'll see there's a, there's a set of combinations of these two switches. So I'm just calling that knife edge, um, just so I know what that I've got this extra switch working here. And so it's very important you have that. 13, 14, and 15 is what your, your, your 14 and 15 are gonna be your switch combinations, 13 is gonna be your gain. And what's gonna happen here is, there, again, it's a series of combinations. So uh, when my 15 switch is in the middle position, it's pretty much at neutral, it's not doing anything and everything's gonna be functioning on my 14 switch. So if I pull down, Stabilization on. stabilization's on, Stabilization off. middle for stabilization, and if I go all the way up, knife edge. that puts me in the knife edge. And again, I put call out, call outs on there so I know what it's doing. Now, if I need to, if I get an emergency, I pull these all the way back, Stabilization on. Self -level. and that self levels me. So if I pull both of these all the way down, it's kind of my emergency and the aircraft will self level. And that's gonna be in self-level mode until I turn 15 off. So get 15 back to normal. So again, it's a little bit of memorization on the combination of these switches, um, but your SR10 plus receiver manual has this in it. So it'll say 15 mid, 14 all the way down. That's your basic stabilization. Self-level. 15 down for self-level. Both in the middle. Stabilization off. The stabilization off, 15 in the middle. 14 all the way up is knife edge. So once you get your channel set here and then go out and put your gains on as we just did with, with quick mode disabled, that then will fire up your knife edge and the aircraft will just put itself into a knife edge and fly. Now from our flying and experimenting, we found that this aileron at about 50% is probably good because you don't want it snapping into that snipe knife edge so fast that it's it's too harsh. So this is the amount of gain that the aileron will give when you put it in the knife edge. So imagine if you got 100%, the aircraft's gonna be very violent into that knife edge. 50 is just a little bit of gain, it just floats over very nice. And I want lots of rudder here. I found that if this is down too low, it won't hold my nose up. So if I set that at 100, I, it, it flies along the knife edge with the nose up and a hover really, really good. So once you get your radio set up, uh, when you're flying along and you're gonna wanna go in the knife edge, you're just gonna push your 14 switch all the way up and you'll see the ailerons fire and roll you over to the right and the elevator automatically fires to the left to keep your nose up. Now, what, when, what happens is, is when the aircraft rolls, you'll see the ailerons then will come to neutral because it's trying to put the aircraft into that roll and it'll hold itself there. So you can see the gyro working, holding the aircraft in the knife and if I come back out, it's, it's wanting to push me out of that. So it'll, that'll stay in that configuration until you turn that switch back off again. Which is one reason why you want to keep that down to a low setting at about 50%. Because we found that it can at 50%, it'll roll over and you can actually fly it out of that knife edge and, and keep it there. So you'll see I can actually fly the airplane out of that if I want to. But it's going to want to snap back. So something to think about. Um, having that gain too high can probably cause you a little bit of a problem. And then the other thing to think about is how do I wanna come out of this knife edge? Um, so there's a couple different ways you can come out of it. Obviously I can just turn my gyro off and it's going to come out of the knife edge setting and then I'm flying the airplane like normal. Uh, keep in mind though that if you are in a knife and you turn that off like that, your airplane's gonna stay in that orientation and you're gonna lose your rudder authority. So you're gonna to have to fly it out of that knife edge manually so that's something to think about uh if you just if you're in knife edge and then you turn it off you're still going to be in a knife edge without your rudder help so you're gonna need to fly it out uh another way to do it is just to um bring it into stabilization and and fly it out that way 
Um, another way to do it would be to fly it out of the knife edge and then and then turn your stabilization off, but then you've got some, some reaction to, on your control surfaces. So, uh, or another way to do it is if you're a knife edge, you can just go straight down to self level and the airplane will level itself. So there's different ways to come out of that knife edge. Just give it some thought. And obviously the first few times you do this, I would recommend being uh, very high so that you've got lots, you know, maybe three mistakes high and you see what the airplane's gonna do. Make sure your gains are the way you want them to be. So give a lot of thought to how you're gonna come out of that knife edge mode. Um, I found that just um, either gently flying it out and then putting that switch off is a pretty good way to go, or just turning your turning your knife edge off while you're in the knife and then just flying it out, just rolling out. Um, but make sure you have enough altitude to, to, to uh, react to whatever the airplane does when you come out of that mode. So keep in mind, you will still be in a knife edge you turn that off. It's not gonna level itself unless you actually make the airplane go into self-level mode and then it'll level itself out. So I hope this is helpful for you. If you have any questions, throw uh, something in the comment and I'm glad to help where we can. And I'm um, looking forward to seeing uh, how it works for you. So thanks for watching and see you next time.